What's up, friends? This is Manny with the most ridiculous test server War of Wilds has ever seen. Um, and I'm talking specifically about the ultimate shock train that literally one-shots everything. Pixonic has completely lost it. If you haven't yet seen the video, it's already live. Top right corner, also video description, pinned comment. You must watch it. You're not going to believe it otherwise. I I'm telling you. But yeah, this video is about the Raptor. A small version of a luchador with Aramis and Athos as a new weapon and the Hawkeye drone which gives you a shield break when you have reflector running plus it converts damage it does to health and restores some gray HP, gray HP. Now this Hawkeye drone picks on an awesome idea because this helps not just the new robot raptor that gets reflectors but also all the robots that have reflectors. So if you fly a hawk and you use the Hawkeye drone, then you'll be able to have a shield break passively going while you are flying and lasering with the hawk. It is exactly what the hawk needed. This is such an awesome idea, Pixonic. I really love that. Uh, I, I didn't even think of this, but what a great, wonderful idea, really. Um, so yeah, and this robot here, like I said, it's basically a smaller version of a luchador. It jumps at you, uh, does damage when it lands next to you and converts some of that damage back into health. Um, these weapons here look like Gargantua Pantagruel. Uh, to a certain point, they are that a little bit, uh, but not exactly because um, with these weapons, you actually do have to look at the enemy. Uh, like, you have to see him, is what I'm trying to say. Whereas the Gargantua Pantak rule doesn't need that. With these weapons, you can just shoot into the general direction in front of you, and you kill and hit anybody who is there, right? These weapons here, you have to see the enemy. If he goes into stealth, you're no longer going to be able to shoot him. Um, so, uh, that is a big difference, and you only have 350 meters range. And uh, So, uh, you saw I just got myself three or four on one, of course. Even a relatively tanky robot will die from that. You see popping enemies, pop, 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 going up in, in one hits all the time. It's because of these champs with their ultimate shock train. I told you guys, you must watch the video. If you haven't yet seen it, you're missing out on something insane. Um, so, uh, wow, you see the weapons are doing a lot of damage. Ar 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 Aramis? Artemis? What was the weapon name? I forgot. Jumping, getting my reflector up, because if this guy looks at me and presses his left his button to fire, I'm pretty much toast. Uh, okay, so he's running. What is he running actually? <laughs> Boom! Uh, yeah, he's running the same robot. So I'm getting myself a battleship shield of 120,000 durability, which just blocked three shock trains that did 130,000 each. Each of those shock trains did 130,000. So my shield just came in at the right time, saving me from losing my last stand immediately. Okay, he's coming in with that robot as well. And we're both running it now. Uh, somehow, though, he seems to be losing this fight. I can't uh, jump. I don't know why I can't jump. It looks like my jump ability is ready, but I couldn't jump a second time. I needed that reflector, because I was beating him until the point where he jumped again and got another reflector, and then I was no longer beating him. Um, so yeah, it, it seems a little weird. And the reflector, by the way, does a lot of damage back to me, as you can see here. Once that reflector dies, the robot goes down pretty quickly, but as long as the reflector is there, it tanks a lot of damage, and sends a lot of damage back to the enemy as well, how a reflector is supposed to work, right? So it's a, it's a well-done job on that part. Um, however, it seems a little odd. Here, see, I can't shoot him now uh, because he's in stealth. It seems a little weird, though, that the... Uh... Oh, what weapons is he using? Oh, God, the flamethrowers. Great. Oh, there goes my last stand. Looks at me for one second. Last stand gone. Great. Good idea, Pixonic, allowing the shock, uh, these, these flamethrowers on the test server. Oh, man trying to kill this thing then trying to land next to him here because if we do it right we should be able to uh, do some extra damage and heal some of that damage other titan has found me though so there goes my hp um we have an our ming uh but i don't think it's gonna do too much against these champs let's see if we can make one last use this time i have a magnetar and subduer on on the raptor Come on, I want to see something. Okay. Boom. 
So that is supposed to do damage to him and also heal me up later. Yeah, the damage that I did to him in that moment converts back into health for me. So it is an interesting robot with an interesting ability. <laughs> a little helicopter next to me. Uh, the Hawkeye drone. It's like in, the, in a world where drones and anti-gravitational uh, uh, devices uh, make you hover, it is weird to see <laughs> an actual helicopter in the game. It is like running is such old outdated tech. Um, can I jump again here or no chance against this thing? Okay. Both of them have the shield ready. GG. GG. I can deal damage to him for two seconds. I was thinking, you know, maybe one of them doesn't have the shield ready, but they both have it. They both had it ready. If I had spawned now, I would have been able to do so much damage to these guys. Come on, kill me, guys. I want to jump into another match. All right. Because the point of this video is the, uh, the, the raptor robot. I don't want to show this again. This is the other video I've made. Um, did I mention that my sound uh, will probably sound terrible because Windows Update ruined my um, my uh, mic settings? In case you're wondering why I sound different, right? Uh, yesterday was a Windows Update. Uh, shot my whole microphone settings. Unbelievable. Alright, this is Team Deathmatch. Not exactly ideal, but let's see. Maybe we're not the first one. Maybe we're not getting jumped on by the Shen Lu's. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but um, yeah, I, I like this uh, this idea. I mean, this this robot here is pretty good. It's an interesting robot, the uh, the little mini luchador. Why not? Um, the weapons seem to be okay, considering they have 350 meters range. I don't think they're hopelessly overperforming. It seems okay to me. Um, so overall, everything seems to be fine except uh, the shock train. Uh, that oh. Um, the shock train is a problem. Uh, so I should be having a good reflector going on, but I added my uh, reflector. I started it a little too late. I guess I should have activated it immediately when I saw him. Um, Hawkeye drone, I'm a big fan of that. Pixonic really applaud you for that choice uh, to bring a drone that basically provides both boosts also to an existing robot. Uh, or all many actually existing robots. I really like that idea. Uh, my reflector somehow didn't really help me to stay alive in that situation. Um, but I was relatively low HP, so... Here we go. Let's jump in. Whoa, that is a lot of damage I'm doing to him here. And... Boop. Despite his turrets. Wow! So yeah, it is a very strong brawling weapon. Maybe it does perform a little bit too much. I can't judge it so easily. Because right now we have a, a new uh, ultimate um, shock train destroying the game, uh, but I also like that the robot has two jumps. I, I like when robots have more than one ability because it makes the playing of them more dynamic. You don't have this one one ability, this one use, and that's it. No, you can uh, use it multiple times, uh, and uh, and. Plan moves. You can make certain attack moves on the enemy, and that is a good idea. Something is behind me, it seems. Yeah, this guy. Oh, and this guy. There's a, there's a whole freaking football team behind me. Dude, this is the longest phase shift uh, last stand uh, I've ever seen right there. Alright, dude, there is freaking an onslaught in our base. What is happening here? Okay. What? Where you go? Okay. So we're dealing damage to each other with this area effect, and we're healing that damage back. Well, if we don't die from it. You saw it. I didn't die. I got the heal back from that. Uh, he died, though, and so he didn't get the heal back. Pathfinder just freaking died. Pop! This guy died! Okay, maybe the weapon does overperform a little bit. Uh, maybe it even... Maybe this is the strategy. Pixonic is like... Uh, bringing in a weapon that overperforms so ridiculously that you feel like, okay, th this weapon is, seems to be okay in comparison, but <laughs> maybe it still overperforms because look what I'm doing to the enemy Shen Lu's. 
One thing seems to be a little weird, uh, how long it takes to regenerate the, the jump. It's a little odd. All right, this is a good timing for that. Yeah, he's never gonna see that coming. <laughs> Bye. It's a regular Aucho and it's not the ultimate Aucho and so I'm kidding. I can get shot down pretty much instantly. Literally by the shock trains. Uh, I have one shot at a 100% Ao Ming in the other test server video that I've released a couple of hours before. This is so ridiculous, guys. Uh, maybe this is the strategy. So they're showing something that is so hopelessly ridiculous, over overpowered and wrong, that the other thing that they are trying to uh, to bring in seems a little seems like more manageable and okay <laughs> in comparison, which clearly, you know, um, the shock train goes way too far. And uh, so does. Uh, so, so I, I feel like this new weapon, maybe I have to change my opinion there. Uh, this w new weapon seems to be... Uh oh, he's targeting me. And I die immediately from it. Freaking flamethrowers. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I've been able to show you this uh, Raptor robot in great detail. Um, seems, seems decent. Seems good. I don't think the Raptor robot is uh, overpowered uh, uh, right now. You know, who knows what will happen when uh, a legendary pilot comes into the game. Because remember, this is something we have to think about. Is that a robot comes in that's new. And then on top of that comes uh, a legendary pilot that will add something crazy to it. Which then makes it even more OP. But so far, the Raptor itself seems pretty decent and not game-breaking. But good. So this is exactly how I, how I think Pixonic should bring robots. I love the Hawkeye drone, like I said. Um, shock train, absolute disaster. I, I don't know why they're even testing something like this. It makes, I, 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 nobody would have ever needed to test this. I could have told you, if they told me the, the, the number, I could have told you immediately terrible idea, let it be. Not, not gonna work, uh, gonna, gonna kill the game. Um, but they are testing it here, but it's a test server, so let them test, whatever, right? It's, as long as it's not entering the live server like this. Um, and uh, the new weapons, perhaps they are overperforming. They only have 350 meters range, but um, they do seem to be doing a, a bit much, a bit quick damage. But yeah, they have a relatively slow continuous reload afterwards. So maybe it's okay. I'm not quite 100% sure about the new weapon. Um, it seemed more okay than completely broken to me. Um, but yeah, so this, this however is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. I'm gonna fix my audio uh, mic thing now and um, the next video will be having the normal audio quality. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one and have a great weekend, everybody. Money off. Bye-bye.